Hey YouTube, and today I'm going to be showing you how to print Hello World using Assembly, the x86 version, using the Irvine library for Intel processors. Alright, to begin, we're going to start off by defining a variable, okay? And then we're going to call it a byte. And then from there, we can write what we want inside of there. So, so I'm going to do a Hello World, the classic exclamation mark. And a comma and zero. And since we're using a C compiler, it doesn't know when to stop, so the zero tells it when to stop. Okay, and so this is just like a blank template. And we're gonna load effective address into EDX, which is a 32 bit register message. And now we have it loaded, but we need to call write string to actually print it. And there it is, so hello world. And then next, I'm going to be showing you how to do addition or just simple arithmetic using registers. So we could keep message, or we could just change this up. We can make it say enter a number. And then, we can have this. And then we're going to need some variables. We could do num1, and I'm going to call it a D word. You don't have to, but I want to show you what's... I'm going to put this in the EAX register and then use a debugger. And I want to show you what's going on behind the scenes. We can do num2. Also going to be a D-word. And then I forgot to define them. So there's going to be question mark and blank. And then we're going to need something, another variable to store the sum. We're just going to call it sum. Also a D-word. Okay. And then from there, we're going to start. So if using this code, I'm going to just comment so you know what it's going to say. It's going to print, enter a number. So these are comments. These help you not get lost. So you'd know what it's going to say already. Enter a number. Okay. We don't have a little space, enter the number. So what we do, we're going to call read decimal so this reads the user's input and it's reading for a decimal which is like a number okay and then we're gonna move we're gonna I think it was called first num from the EAX if we run it again we should get the little like underscore there we go. what am I missing oh I call it num one Not first num. You see, we have enter number. Now we get into the number five. But we want two numbers, so we can just copy this to the here. This will this will tell us to enter a number. And here we're getting the user input, and we're moving what was in the register into the into the variable. So let's just say we just say we could just say. Assigning, pretty sure I spelled that wrong, but that's not the point. It's a variable. I know I spelled that wrong. And then the same thing is going on here. So right now we're just saying enter a number. And then we're going to call read deck again. And instead of num1, we're going to do num2 this time. So if we run it, enter number, enter number 5, enter another number, enter number 4. Okay, so now we have it entered, but they're not really doing anything. And then from there, we could move what was it? Move to the EAX, which is a general 32 bit register. What was, in our, what was in num1? So this is like saying, imagine you had a cash register and a guy gives you 20 bucks and you just throw it in the register. So now you have 20 in there. And then you want to add, let's see, if we could do. Add into the register num two. So you say another guy gives you five bucks. Now you have twenty five bucks in the register. And then we can move into num no into sum. So this this is like the sum of both uh, when you're adding what was in the eax. So if we run it, we can do enter five, enter two, but nothing prints. But we got to remember that we got to. Uh, call load EDX. 
actually going to load some, but we got to remember we got to call a right string. But it's, this is not a string anymore. This is a, a decimal. So we get call right deck, and then now I should print key number five and key number four. The answer is nine. And then let me see like comment this. So we're moving num one in into EAX. And then from there we could we could do our addition. Add we're adding num two into EAX. But uh, we already had remember we had num one in there. So we enter the number 10, so 10 in the AX. And then we add another 5, now we have 15. And then from there, we're, whatever it's in the EAX, we're moving it into sum. So we can say moving EAX into sum variable. And this, this just loads it and just writes it. And this just prints um, what's in sum. And I actually use the EAX registers because I want to show you like what's going on behind the scenes. So I'm gonna put some breakpoints right here, and right there. Okay, nice. that should do it. So we hit continue, and it's gonna bring up enter a number. We do number ten. Let me continue. So sure, number three. And then we can go keep continuing to right here. So we're gonna do the ampersand like in C sum. And what we have in sum is zero D. But we enter the number uh, ten plus three. So that should give us thirteen. But if you look thirteen up in hexadecimal. It should be D, and if we did it right, it's D. Similar for 13, D, correct. And then I want to show you what the register, so we're just going to run it again. I'm going to go on debugging, continue. We're going to add the first number, it's 10. But if we look right here in our registers, we should have A, but we look up 10 in hexadecimal, that should also be A. So we have 10 in there, which is A. We're going to continue. Let's do that at number 5 this time. In our EAX, we have 5. And when we add them up, it's going to be 15 inside our EAX. 15 in hexadecimal should be f. Because uh, it's based uh, 6, I think it's base 16. Yep. So we could do it's base, yeah, base 16. So f. And then if we go to our memory and we do the ampersand, and we, this is checking what's inside the variable sum. It should be, oh, it was right here the way. It's 0f, which is proven to be 15. And this is like a lot of work just to add some easy numbers. Because I know if you go to Python, you can do it super simply. But you get to see what's going on behind the scenes, which I think is very valuable. I personally don't like assembly, but I can see it, it has taught me a lot. Like, but I still enjoy C++ or even Python. Say I want to do the same uh, program in Python, I could just do this. I haven't done Python in a while, let me see. We could do num1, I think it was like int, no, num1, int, int, what I think it was? And then we could make it say intern. Our first number. There's one. Num two equals int input and center second number. And then we can do num. 3 equals num1 plus num2 and then we can do print
here answer okay, is go for how to spell maybe maybe call num three and that should work. Let me fix the spacing that actually bothers me. Fine. Oh, 56 or 60. So you see how different it is, how easier it is? This gets it to you real quick, but this you can see what's going on behind the scenes. You can actually check your variable to see if that actual number's in there. You could look into the EX register and, and whatever number you put should be in there. So you put 10, 10 should be in there, or whatever hexadecimal number it is. So they both have like their attractive points. This is real simple, like the begin the beginner can learn this. But this is also like really important. It teaches you what's going on behind like the computer or whatever, inside the computer. And that's gonna be 